Tully Barclay Castle is described as an L-Plan tower house, but most people would say it's a castle. <laughs> it's got all the features, the thick walls, the shot holes, the gun loops, everything you want in a castle is here. We're very blessed with a magnificent arched front doorway. And if you look up, just when you come in the door, you see a boss in the center with the Barclay coat of arms, which is fantastic that it survived all these years as the building sat empty for 200 years before we came along. My husband and I bought Towie Barclay in 1972 for 4,000 pounds, and that was every penny we had. The castle was completely overgrown. You couldn't find the front door because of the undergrowth, but we were determined from day one and worked our way through the first phase of the restoration, which was the ground floor and the first floor. Everything was a challenge, every single thing. First of all, one of the worst jobs was chipping off cement that was plastered onto the entrance hallway walls. We spent months chiseling away all this gray cement. Once you come in the front door, you turn left and you go down the entrance barrel vaulted corridor. This leads you straight ahead to the main spiral staircase, but on the left, we have the original kitchen with our auger. This castle has always been home to me. It's all I ever knew growing up. You know, even just sitting in the kitchen next to the Aga, I've got so many lovely memories of, of when I was younger and when I was growing up. There were several occasions there were members of the royal family visiting. My mum would be playing the guitar and my dad would be ferreting around. And it's just, um, yeah, it's home. I mean, everybody has their memories of home, but it is quite an unusual home, this one. Across from the kitchen is our dining room. We have our candlelit dinners in there. Before people visit the castle, I imagine they sometimes have ideas that it might be a little bit cold or creepy or, you know, filled with ghosts, I don't know. Just about everybody who comes says, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's so cozy and it's so nice and friendly and it's not creepy at all. When you come into the Great Hall, you feel like you're stepping back in time because all of the things that we bought for the Great Hall are of the period and really make you feel like you're in another age. The ceiling is ribbon groin vaulting and there are carved stones on the ceiling, the coats of arms of the king, James VI of Scotland, first of England, and the other is of the Barclay coat of arms. My husband particularly was interested in works of art and painting, so we have quite a few magnificent paintings. One of my favorite places to hang out when I was little was in the Minstrels Gallery in the Great Hall. This is way up high. It's kind of like a little hidden spot and it had big velvet curtains so you could pull them across. But when I was a young child, I used to love hiding up there and I would draw the curtains and I would make my own little house in there. And then if you continue up the spiral staircase, you come to the library. It's just a very cozy, wonderful place to sit and read. It has an oak beam ceiling and wall-to-wall -wall books, leather-bound books. So the library is part of the new aspect of the castle. To build the top two floors, we had to demolish a building nearby to get out the dressed red sandstone. And so we stockpiled it on the front lawn and we had it to build the top two floors. I loved growing up here. Um, I did have some moments where I was quite envious of my, my friends with their more normal houses. The walls are really difficult to stick anything to. It used to drive me nuts when I was a teenager because I, I had all these posters in my bedroom that I wanted to, to stick on the walls, but they would all fall off. I appreciate this is definitely a first world castle problem. As you look down from the castle, 
towards the walled garden, you see the woodland and the garden itself sunken down about 12 feet. On the north side is the stable block, our gardener's cottage, which is a guest house for our own guests, and the carriage room. And this is a magnificent room that was built to receive Queen Victoria's visit in around about 1900 or thereabouts. We built the main entrance gate and the bell tower ourselves so that we'd have a really nice entrance to the garden. And as you walk in, you see the garden laid out in the cruciform pattern with flower beds around the outer edges with roses, clematis, and a herbaceous border. We believe this was the original design because we found the roots of some of the old hedging still underneath the trees, and it appeared to be the design that we now have. The sundial in the center is a Dutch design. We bought it in Holland, and um, it is accurate to the minute on Greenwich Mean Time. If we have sun, you have to have sun for it to work. The wall for the greenhouse was complete when we bought the property. The only thing that was missing was the greenhouse itself. So we knew the height of the building, and so we built the rest. It's been a great thing to have. I've put in a kiwi vine, which produces about 200 kiwis every year, and then flowers for the garden are grown in there. So my mom and dad have always been very passionate about uh, conservation and traditional building skills. And it was a huge focus for my dad. He just felt so strongly that we were very lucky in this country to have these amazing buildings. But these building skills that are required to maintain these properties are just disappearing. Without any doubt, purchasing Towie Barclay was the most exciting thing we'd ever done and it was fantastic to be able to actually own this building. We have spent a lot of time cleaning the stone, which was a laborious, boring job beyond belief, and there was a lot of it. It was a job that now you would probably do with shot blasting, but being soft sandstone, you could damage the stone if you weren't careful. So we went around with a wire brush and a chisel and scrubbed and cleaned every single stone. <laughs> We wanted to base ourselves here at Towie Barclay and bring up our family here, and that we've achieved over the last 15 years. This property is quite big for one person now that my husband passed away, and um, I think the time is right. I'm looking forward to a new owner taking it to the next level, and I know every inch of this property really well. <laughs> so I can tell them anything that they might want to know about it.